Hi, my name is Dr. Cross, and today I want to introduce you to an interdisciplinary field called biophysics. While my PhD is in biochemistry, cell, and molecular biology, I use biophysical techniques every day to determine molecular motion, movement, and even molecular stability. So pull up a chair and stay tuned. Let's explore biophysics. Have you ever wondered how your favorite science shows in the news media know what all these viruses and molecules and bacteria look like? Even cells in the body. Well, today we're going to talk about biophysics and how it contributes to making the beautiful images of biology we see today. Biophysics concerns itself with the structure-function relationships of molecules. And so for molecular biologists and biochemists, we do biophysics all the time to look at the intra- and intermolecular forces of the pathways we study. At the molecular level, all things are in motion. So understanding molecular motion is key to understanding how a large molecule takes on its shape and interacts with other molecules. In neuroscience, we use biophysics to study the electrical conductivity of the nervous system. There are even engineers that develop nanotechnologies and biomaterials for use in the human body using biophysics. In medicine, we rely on biophysics for medical imaging. That's right, things like MRIs and CAT scans rely on the molecular motions and molecular interactions that occur in the body to get the beautiful pictures for diagnostics. Recently, biophysics has even been used to remediate ground soil. Biophysics is beautiful. In fact, the modern beauty industry relies on biophysics for the antioxidant and anti-aging formulations they make today. In fact, we can infer what kind of hair you have from your genetic code. That's right. Your genetics make up specific amino acid sequences that make up all the proteins in your body, including your hair. People with curly hair have a secondary structure we call alpha helices, while people with straight hair would have more of a beta sheet composition. And those in between vary the amino acid sequence to have wavy or curly hair. Now back to those beautiful pictures we see in the media. How do we get there? It takes millions of calculations of molecular forces in order to build proteins or whole cell structures. And when we build out these structures and calculate all these molecular forces, we can actually get animations and beautiful representations of how cells work. As you can imagine, a majority of biophysicists work in medicine, creating everything from cancer tumor therapies to vaccines which make immune cells devour viruses on contact.
I hope you understand now that biophysics studies intermolecular forces and intramolecular forces in order to understand the biological world. And now I'd like to leave you with some words of wisdom from my favorite biophysicists and biochemists. ask me this all the time because they always wonder why I go to the Biophysical Society meeting every year because right now we're actually doing our work is going more in the direction of clinical physiology and so they wonder what my connection is to, to biophysics. Well I think of biophysics as a very quantitative way of looking at problems so um, anytime I can actually define it more uh, carefully with numbers um, that helps me think about it more carefully. Um, I think of biophysics um, as we just talked, heard about as you know, being more physical, following the laws of physics. Um, and uh, really it's very multidisciplinary and it's down at the single molecule. I love the transporters that I work with. I love to see what they look like at the atomic level, even though I study their clinical phenotypes at the level of an organism, at the level of physiology, I still like to think of the problem at the individual molecule level. So that's what biophysics is doing. Thank you so much for joining us, Ken. How should we understand how the basic science of biophysics pays off for the public? So first of all, biophysics is a very broad area, very diverse tools, um, broad interests among the scientists who work in that area. It pays off in many different ways. Uh, one is health and disease, how we discover new drugs. Another is clean water supplies, better food supplies, uh, better ways of converting solar energy. It pays off in many, many ways. Biophysics is um, a, the study of biological systems using techniques from chemistry and physics and biology, and it's just the intersection.